Hey friends, this is the Mrs. Wolfie from our Half Acre Homestead with a movie review. But before I get to the movie review, I want to tell you where I'm sitting. I'm sitting in my dining room. You can see my, China, my $21 china cabinet uh, behind me. And the reason I'm sitting in my living room is because very soon Papa is going to be redoing my office. So uh, he's got to do the floor and stuff. There's also the fact that my computer crashed astoundingly crashed and I've had to wipe it a couple of times and this keeping your file stuff and everything wasn't wasn't doing it so uh, I had to completely wipe my my computer my desktop and I still don't have sound so I don't know what I'm gonna do but right now my office is my dining room table and I'm working on the laptop but I do remember some people complaining about the, the glazing on my glasses so they couldn't see my eyes while I was talking. And right now, because I'm using my camcorder and I'm sitting at my dining room table, you can see my eyes. There you go. No glare on my glasses. Anyway, the movie review. <clears throat> Papa and I watched a movie tonight that we watched about eight years ago, not long after we moved in here. And we watched it on pay-per-view then, and we watched it on Netflix tonight. And it's amazing how your perception of a movie will change with time and maybe even some maturity. We watched The Bucket List. And if you haven't seen The Bucket List, watch The Bucket List. Okay? It's a good movie. I love Jack Nicholson. I absolutely adore Morgan Freeman. Love Morgan Freeman. And... It's a very simple premise, okay? Everybody's heard of the bucket list. It's a very simple premise. Actually, I'm making a bucket list. I only have one item on it so far, and that's to go hunting with Ted Nugent. Um, that, that is something I really want to do before I die. But the whole premise of the bucket list is to make a list of things that you want to do or achieve before you die. Now, these two men, Morgan Freeman and Jack Nicholson, meet each other in a hospital room. And they both pretty much have the same prognosis. One is worse than the other. But they both pretty much have been given six months to a year to live. And Jack Nicholson caught Morgan Freeman making his bucket list. And he said, what are you doing? And he told him. And he said, well, let me see that list. So he took it and he added some stuff to it. And he said, let's do it, because Jack Nicholson was extremely wealthy, and Morgan Freeman was a blue-collar worker all his life, putting his kids through college and all that stuff on, the, on you know, being a mechanic's wages, and his wife was a nurse. And he said, oh, it's all metaphorical, all that stuff. Doesn't matter. Long story short, they, they start working their way through this bucket list. They both added stuff to it, and they started working their way through it. And what developed was a friendship that is born out of keeping an open mind and an open heart to somebody else's perception of life and joy and living and dying. It really is a tremendous movie. I don't want to blow the ending for you if you haven't seen it. If you have not seen The Bucket List, watch it. If you don't want to watch it, then do this for me or for yourself or for those you love. Never ever get to the point where you're staring death in the face before you take a hold of your life and grab the things that mean the most to you. Keep an open mind, keep an open heart. The rest is all gravy. This is the Mrs. Wolfie saying good night, God bless.